the European Stability Mechanism, or ESM, is scheduled to start up in July. The 500 billion euro fund is the permanent solution the EU has come up with to help end the debt crisis. Regarding the ESM on which we agree and we want to implement, we continue our efforts to restore the confidence in the markets. The ESM is meant to replace the temporary bailout fund, the European Financial Stability Facility, or EFSF. But they also differ in a number of ways. The ESM will be a fully-fledged intergovernmental body making its own decisions, whereas the EFSF was set up as a company to avoid difficult negotiations over changing the EU treaty. While the EFSF is backed solely by guarantees provided by Eurozone states, the ESM will have its own capital base of 80 billion euros. And the ESM will only be available for countries that also join a pact toughening budget discipline. The European Stability Mechanism will run side by side with the European Financial Stability Facility until it expires next year. Some argue that during this time, both funds should run at full capacity, giving it a total firepower of around 1 trillion euros. Increasing the overall size of the ESM, I didn't say doubling it, increasing the size. And, and identifying a clear and credible timetable for making it operational would help greatly. But as a main contributor to the fund, Germany disagrees. It wants the two funds combined to total a maximum of 500 billion euros.